you know, I enjoy to help people best I can. I don't write good. I don't, I don't have much patience. Uh, I took a lot of time out of my life when I made these videos. Uh, I tell you, my carburetor tune videos are on the playlist. I, I can't even see how I get questions on, on my carburetor tune videos, like my pilot jet. If you, you, you got to follow the directions, man. Carburetor tuning is super easy for me. I've did it for a lifetime. I clearly state you got to have jets on hand. You can't have vacuum leaks. You can't have you can't have seals leaking. You can't have head gaskets and base gaskets leaking. The motor's got to be warm. Your float level's got to be correct. Follow the steps, man. I explain everything. Your air mix slash fuel mix screw determines what size pilot jet you use. That's starting point number one you can't you, you, you can't do five things at one time i've taken carburetors that don't belong on nothing and i put them on something and i'm i'm going in blind but i don't use knockoff cheap junk carburetors man and, and and as far as jet number goes it's just a reference point it's irrelevant it takes what it takes i take a motor here if i got plenty of pilots plenty of main jets and I'll be at 800 foot sea level and you can take me to Mount Kilimanjaro I don't give a shit what temperature is I follow the rules jetting applies the same no matter where you are it takes what it takes till it runs cleanly it's so easy it's crazy but you got you got to follow the directions you can't be skipping all around throwing oh, just throwing random pilot jets in, in the thing sure every every so often a squirrel gets lucky and finds a nut but i want my shit rideable i don't want no sputter nowheres in my throttle range just follow the directions man i like to help people but i think a lot of people overthink a simple process if you just watch the videos i explain what each circuit does what part of the throttle range it controls and go step by step and you have no problem, but you gotta have jets on hand, man. If you don't know what rich is, put the choke on. That's rich. Typically, boggins, boggins lean. You know, uh, rich is dull, dead. I throw a super fat main jet in it. I don't get five feet. I I know for a fact my crap is rich. You don't up jet from lean because you burn stuff up if you're up jetting from lean. Down jet from the rich point. But you got to follow the steps. You got to start at the pilot, go to the needle, then go to the main. If you don't like, if you don't want to do that, go to the main, then go back and clean up the needle. But you got to start at the pilot. You got to have a proper float level. You can't have vacuum leaks. Quit using junk carburetors and question power jet carburetors. What are they? They're useless, except for a drag bike. And, and if I got a power jet carburetor, it's going to be electron with a power jet. Not no knockoff $35 crap, PWK junk or some other stuff. Quit complicating your lives, man. Stick with what works. I've, I've had nobody in all the years I've made videos tell me their performance has gone downhill by watching my videos. From skateboard people with motors on them to chainsaw people to motorized bicycle to motorcycle. I just share what I know, man. I... I I pretty much cover and explain everything. So what? The description's not good. I don't care if 10 people watch my videos. I took my time out to help people, and I'm hoping it helps you. I'm not trying to make anybody feel dumber. I made this to help people, man.